option for a cross-platform C++ editor is a program called CodeBlocks. So we'll navigate out to codeblocks.org. And once we're there, we're going to go out to the download section. And we just need the binary release. We're not going to look at the source code today, although the source code is available since it's an open source program. Uh, on that page, we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom, and we'll see there's a version for Mac OS on SourceForge. So we'll click on that. Once we get to that page, it's going to make us wait for just a second, and it will start our download. Okay. We'll click on that and it'll start up the process. And we have a little bit of verification. We may get a security error because the author is not a verified uh, source. There's our uh, unidentified developer message. Uh, that we get sometimes. Uh, to get around that we're going to go to our settings and we'll check out the security options. Okay and then we're going to go down this option that says open it anyway. Okay, that should get us back on track. It'll give us one more warning about being an unidentified developer. Click open. Okay, so we get this prompt to install the command line tools. So we'll go ahead and do that. Agree with the license agreement. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's go down here and see what we've got here. Um, I'll go ahead and OK this one. Let it think about that a little bit. Okay, we'll go ahead and maximize this. Okay, we'll create a new project. And we'll just test this out. We'll do a console application. Okay, we'll just go ahead and save it. And documents. Next, and we'll take all the defaults here. And it comes up with the hello world automatically. Okay, now we got to wait for the uh, command line tools to finish installing. Okay, that's installed. We'll click done. And then we'll go up here to build and try to build it and run it. Looks like our terminal window is trying to pop up here. And it's successfully completed. Hello world. Process return zero. We'll click enter to continue and it dropped us at the command prompt.
So that's how we install code blocks on uh, Mac OS 10.